Hi, I'm Cal McCoy from Glamp Protect, and today I'm at North Coast 500 Pods filming our glamping business setup clarity series, where we help you gain clarity on your glamping project right from the start. In this video, we will answer the question, is my glamping idea really feasible? So, there are lots of key factors that define whether or not your glamping idea is going to be feasible. We'll speak about a few of them in this video um, and then at the end of this video I'm going to mention a product that we have that can definitely help you to find out if your idea is feasible or not. This is not a sales pitch and all these videos that we do are not sales pitches, however this is just a really relevant time to bring in this product. Some of the key factors include planning permission, it's obviously one of the main ones. If you don't get planning permission then you're really in trouble with setting up a glamping business because you can't even set up the site. Um, the next thing that's probably just as important is how much is the site going to cost and in turn, how much money will it make back? Essentially the return on investment or the two different sets of numbers that you need to work out to ultimately work out the return on investment. Um, other things that can be important are things like competitors. You know, Do you have a lot of competitors in the area or none? If there's a lot, is the market oversaturated in the area? If there's none, is planning not accepting these things or is there not a demand in the area? You need to look at all of these things as a whole and analyze them to work out whether or not your idea is really feasible. One thing to note is that there are a lot of challenges that can potentially face you when setting up a glamping site. However, almost all of them are overcomable, if that's a word. So, take this site for example, North Coast 500 Pods, we are here 250 miles away from where I live and between myself and Ali, who's the other half of Glam Protect and the other half of NC500 Pods, we run the business from Edinburgh, which is where we live, 250 miles away. You'd think that that is a key factor that would completely finish the business in terms of being able to set up a successful glamping site. However, we've managed to do this. So just use that as an example to show that actually your glamping site can potentially overcome a lot of big issues. You know, if you set up things correctly, there's almost nothing that you can't overcome. As mentioned, we do feasibility studies. Now, this is information pack here. Feel free to reach out to us and we can send one of these to you via email or via post. We have hard copies there. And the feasibility study will answer all of the questions that you can have about whether or not your glamping site is feasible. Actually to the degree where we will literally answer questions that you have about setting up your glamping site. That way you can get all of this fantastic information like working out you know, how much your site will cost, how much it will make in return, how quickly it will return that investment, whether or not you'll get planning and a whole host of other things. So if you want to work out whether or not your glamping site idea is feasible, then you can either do some of the, the tasks that I've said earlier on in this video or let us do the work for you and find out. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope it brings clarity to your glamping project. Want to know more about the topic? Use the details above me to get in touch now. Got any more questions about setting up your glamping business? Feel free to get in touch with us if you can't find them on our website or on our YouTube where we have an abundance of other videos to help you. Thank you.